Welcome to ThoughtSpot Embrace. In this demonstration, you'll see how easy it is to go from zero to search with ThoughtSpot on your enterprise data in just a few minutes. ThoughtSpot enables you to search your data. No SQL, no spreadsheets, no dragging columns. You can actually search for answers and insights just like you would search for products in popular consumer apps. For example, if we want to see what monthly sales looked like last year, we can just type monthly sales last year. That's it. So what do you have to do to make your data searchable? The answer is not very much. When most data professionals hear that data movement is required to implement a new solution, their facial expressions instantly sour. ThoughtSpot Embrace requires zero data movement. You simply connect to your data store directly from ThoughtSpot and start searching without any complicated ETL or ELT workflows. Let's log into ThoughtSpot and kick things off by connecting to a database. ThoughtSpot Embrace supports a number of different cloud and on-prem data warehouses. In this demo, we'll connect to Snowflake. To connect, we simply click Connections, click Add Connection. Enter a name for our connection, select the appropriate data warehouse, and click Continue. Then enter our connection details, and click Continue again. And just like that, we have introduced ThoughtSpot to our data warehouse. Now that the two systems are talking to each other, we can see all of the data tables and views in our data warehouse. Let's go ahead and pick a couple so we can start searching. When we open this public schema, we see three tables which store our sales data. We are a retail company that specializes in outdoor apparel. Think North Face or REI. Here, we have a fact table that stores all our sales transactions and a couple of dimension tables, one for our products and the other for our stores. We want to look at all of this in ThoughtSpot. So we'll grab every single column from each of the tables. We simply click on each table, then click the Select All checkbox in the header row of the column list. After we've selected the columns for all three tables, we click on the Create Connection button and we've established a window from ThoughtSpot into our sales data. The confirmation page displays the three tables that we just selected. Let's click Search Now to take a look at our data. Of the three data tables, the most interesting to search on its own is probably the Sales Fact table that contains all of our sales transaction data for the last couple of years. When we simply type 2019 sales into the search bar, ThoughtSpot shows us a sum of total sales for all transactions from last year stored in this table. We can spice things up a bit by adding a time dimension to our result. When we type monthly, ThoughtSpot automatically generates a line chart to show our total sales by month last year. I told you it wasn't difficult. Our fact table contains a bunch of other information that we can explore. For example, the store ID field in the table's data contains the identifier for the store where a product was purchased. When we created our connection, ThoughtSpot was able to read the existing foreign key relationship in our data warehouse between our sales fact table and our store's dimension table. So we can actually add by store name to our search and split apart the total monthly sales by each store to see which performed well and which performed not so well. On the other hand, the product ID value was not joined to the sales fact table in Snowflake. <laughs> no worries, we can easily establish this relationship in ThoughtSpot. This will enable us to see the product names and product types and all that other good stuff. In order to do so, we need to join our fact table to our product's dimension table. To do that, we'll want to create a quick join using ThoughtSpot and then create a worksheet, essentially a metadata layer within ThoughtSpot. Okay, so remember, a join is simply connecting two tables together using a field that exists in both tables. So, if we have a product ID value of 1 in our fact table, we also have a product ID value of 1 in our product's dimension table. And in the row in the product's dimension table, where the product ID equals 1, we have a bunch of information, like product name and product type. After we connect these tables with a join, all of this data will be available in our searches and answers. We'll create the join on our fact table. First, we click on the sales fact table. Then we click the joins link. And then we click add join. 
The destination table is, as we mentioned, our product's dimension table. And the two fields we're using to connect are, as we mentioned, product ID and product ID. And then we just hit next, give this join a name, hit next again, and we've got our join. Voila, we've got our very own data model in ThoughtSpot. Let's go ahead and place a worksheet on top of this model to make it easily searchable for business users. Once we get to the Create Worksheet page, the first thing we need to do is select the data tables we want to include. To do that, we just click on the plus sign next to Sources. Click on each of the three data tables, and then click the Close button. And now we get to select the fields we want to expose to our users. We'll pick two fields from each table. And then we just click the Save button and give our worksheet a name. Now that we've created our worksheet, let's fine tune it to make it as straightforward as possible for other users. Field names in a database are often cryptic or not human readable. Well, none of ours are that bad, but they also aren't necessarily written the way we might write them if we were searching for them in a search engine. On this page, we can optimize our search terms and define a couple of fields to make sure we limit any potential confusion once the business users jump on. We're going to make the following field name changes. Product name will become product. Product type will become two words, product type. Store name is store. Let's write state and sales in sentence case. And record date will simply become date. And then let's define a couple of fields. We'll provide a geo configuration for our state field and update our currency type for the sales column to reflect that this is in US dollars. And then we can save our changes. All right, it's go time. Let's quickly change our data source to the sales worksheet rather than our original tables. To do that, we click on Choose Sources and select the worksheet and deselect the tables. And that's it, it's search time. Let's start by searching sales by state. And ThoughtSpot live queries our cloud data warehouse and immediately returns a map visualization. It's so cool. And we can go back to something similar to our original search, monthly sales last year by product type. Because ThoughtSpot has indexed the data to make it available in our search bar dropdown, we can even filter on a specific store just by typing in that store's name. This search now combines all three of our tables. A quick glance at the query visualizer shows us how ThoughtSpot translates our search into a query that efficiently and effectively takes advantage of the joins and the data model that we've created. That's the power of search and AI-driven analytics from ThoughtSpot. Contact your account manager so you can go from zero to search on your enterprise data in minutes for insights at the speed of thought.